Hey guys, it's Cam Kane, and welcome back to episode two of the Coaching Carousel Dynasty and NCAA football coming into week two. But yeah, we'll get into our game, which is against FCS East Mountain Cats, and hopefully get a W right here. Should get a W right here and start the year 2-0 after our big win over our rival Kent State last week. And yeah, let's, hopefully we can carry the momentum into this one. Our offense puts together a nice long drive and gets seven points on the board to begin the game. And let's hope let's hope we can stop this FCS offense. Looks like they might be a option team. Yeah, they're coming out in the triple option formation right here. So, and that's a what should be a tackle in the backfield, but it's not going to be. As he breaks the tackle and gets a four yard rush on the first carry this quarterback looking like he wants to run so we're gonna have to definitely keep a spy out there and and he's gonna drop the pass luckily and that's gonna be fourth down as we get a quick three and out to begin the game and the offense puts seven points on the board right again so hopefully they keep doing their thing so that makes the defensive side of the ball a whole lot easier for us Right up the middle to the fullback who breaks a tackle, breaks and breaks three tackles, but finally gets brought down in the backfield by Anders. And we're getting our tackles broken by an FCS team. This is not good at all. Brooks gets the sack right up the middle. No one even laid a hand on him. And Brooks continues from where he left off last game with another sack. DB Blitz can't get there, and that's a pass, but it is incomplete. Can't keep his foot in bounds. We got a long third and 17 right here. Got to open on the out route, and he's going to tackle him short of the first down. So we get another stop right here, and that's going to be do it for the first quarter as it's 14 to nothing. Bring a blitz. We get to the quarterback, but it's not in time, and he's got a receiver completely wide open downfield. Oh, my goodness. Bring a blitz right here. Anders can't get to the quarterback, but we do eventually get to him. It is Hare who gets the sack, and it's going to be a long third and 14 right here. Get pressure on the quarterback, and Hare gets another sack. Back-to-back -back sacks, and it's a long fourth and 20, and I did not mean to watch this field goal. They go five wide right here. I'm going to run a zone because we just can't get, stay in front of anybody, and man... And that's a deep pass, and it's caught down the sideline, and he's brought down Bo Hill right at the two-yard line. Run up the middle. We read it, and we can't. What are we doing? Literally have three people in the backfield, and they can't make the tackle And as he runs it into the end zone. Brooks gets some pressure on the quarterback. He goes deep, and Shepard is just not even paying attention. Like... What are we doing out there? The receiver starts to cut back towards the ball and our safety is just still running downfield. Like, what are you doing? Option to the outside. Eberhardt reads it perfectly and gets him in the backfield. What a play from Eberhardt right there. Who last game got the interception. Passing the play. Cooper's going to take off. He's going to break a couple tackles, but finally brought down for a sack in the backfield. Run up the middle. He bounces to the outside, and he's got a lane. And he's... Oh, my God. Luckily, we make a shoestring tackle. These FCS players are just faster and quicker than my players. I don't understand. Run up the middle. Spires is there to meet him in the backfield for a four-yard loss. We have plays where we look like we're just dominating them. And then on other plays, we just look like we've never played football before. I don't understand. Pass towards the end zone. Shepard picks it off. He's going to break a tackle, and he's got a lane. He breaks another tackle. Ah, oh, just couldn't get going. I thought if we could get a block right there and get Shepard going in some space, he could have made something happen. But now our defense is deciding to show up as Marcus Shepard gets the interception. The pass here on first down. Cooper's going to try and take off, but that is going to be a sack. Is that Anders getting the sack? Yes, it is. Darren Anders. Bring a DB blitz, and it works, and Jones gets the sack. 
And it's a five yard loss, so it's gonna be a deep third and 17 right here. Brooks coming off the edge is there. Oh, can't get the tackle though. And it's deep and Burns drops the interception. So great defensive possession. It's gonna force FCS to more than likely punt it away as they do. See if our offense can get anything going. They have three negative yard rushes in a row. But then 15 yard penalty on the defense and it continues their drive. Wow. What could that have penalty have been? As we punt it away with 50 seconds to go. And it's a really good punt. He pins him on the four yard line. Trying to get some pressure on the quarterback. Brooks finally gets through. It's passed away and it's going to be dropped. We have two defenders in between that receiver and the receiver goes up and makes the best play on the ball. Like how is that possible? Over the mid- How we didn't- How do we give up a 32-yard reception right there? We have so many people in coverage. Little dump off past Anderson, and that's going to fall short of the first down as they are in hurry up still. And they are going to spike it here to stop the clock. That's going to be thrown away, and it's fourth and five. They're going to have to go for it here. No pressure on the quarterback. They have a receiver wide open, but he drops the ball. We get so lucky right there. But that's going to do it, and it's going to be a 20-10 to 10 win over FCS East in a shitter of a game. A terrible game. Offensive and defensively, I know this is going to be difficult, but after that game against Kent State, I had some hope for us. But looking at this, it might be a long season, what I was projecting at the beginning. So after the first two games of the year, kind of looking at our main players, Darren Anders, our middle linebacker, 79 overall, our leading tackler, 13 tackles, one sack, four for a loss. Dabney, our strong safety, coming in and making a lot of tackles as well. And our freshman corner, Elijah Eberhardt, with nine tackles himself, and he got the interception that first game. And then Carl Brooks, we knew would be a beast for us getting three sacks out of two games but we kind of know who our key players are on the defensive end as we see them into next week where we play niu our next conference game but that's gonna do it probably going to be a quick episode not a lot of key plays not a lot of big plays it was a quick game 20 to 10 against fcs east not a not a great game i would say offensive defense fleet or anything you, you, you go into a game against an FCS team, you expect to blow them out. I don't care who you are, but we're definitely going to have to figure some things out. Going back into conference play against NIU, but yeah, that's going to do it for episode two. Hope you guys are enjoying this dynasty like you were the one before I had. But yeah, going to do it for this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.